We're live. Live. Hi, Lori. Look who's here, Dr. Lena Rodriguez from Toronto. Hi, guys. And I'm coming to you from Friday morning in Australia. She's coming to us from the future. <laughs> All right. Now, did you know that it was exactly a year ago that you were on Mary Trump's show? I can't believe that. Thank you for pointing it out, you know, it, and all blessings to Mary, you know. Yes. Amazing woman. Yes, she is. And a lot of uh, a lot of your viewers uh, watch her show, her podcast. Yeah. She, she believes that um, Jim Jordan and James Comer could be brought up on charges for peddling the f fictitious FBI uh, witness testimony that was given by Alexander Smirnoff, mm. who's just recently, like five minutes ago, breaking news, been rearrested. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Been rearrested because the prosecutors said the judge made. Uh, he's a flight risk. They just found out something else he's involved in, and they want him behind behind bars. And there he is. Wow. But we'll let's see. Uh, let's look and see if Mary Trump is right, because Jim Comer says, "Oh, I never knew his name. I didn't know what his name was. <laughs> I just knew that he was an informant." Um, but Jim Jordan's doubling down, saying, "Oh yeah, well, all all the things that he said, you know, la la la." Mm -hmm. So let's see if Jim Jordan and um, James, James Comer. Comer. Okay. Are they going to be pulled by their ear into the building? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We'll see. Because this um, <clears throat> whole fake impeachment trial is such a balls up that every witness, this isn't the first time it's happened, you know, in the sense their witnesses keep giving terrible testimony. Yeah. Mm. Or say one thing and then when they're on the stand, they say something else. Yes. And then they had Biden's brother in there who also did not help them at all. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're looking. At, at Comer Jordan. and Jordan. And Jordan. Oh, what fell out? Oh, the nine of pentacles. Okay. So the question is, will they be sort of pulled in over this? Maybe not as far as an arrest, but it's a possibility because what I've got here, Nine of Pentacles, the good life, like this is, it's a miracle that Jim Jordan has got to where he has in, in life. Um, and I think this is him more than coma. But here we have the judgment coming down, right? And American people beginning to wake up. Not a minute too soon. Okay. So I don't know that people are following this case really closely at all because Biden may be many things, but he's not a bent politician. You know what I mean? It just doesn't ring true. Uh, other things. So this is coming down. There's the King of Pentacles here, a powerful man um, who I think is very unhappy about this. This could represent maybe some of the leftover old GOP who are embarrassed, who are actually mortified by this committee going on. But I've got the star card here, Best of America card for me. So I'm going to say they could be reprimanded or something. I'd like it to go further, but I think it will be an embarrassing episode for them. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I wanted to tell everybody about, um, I hope they get embarrassed. I hope they get embarrassed so bad. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to tell everyone about your, your deck and your book that are just really amazing. <laughs> I forgot to say it, but and then when I saw your cards, I was like, oh, the one world to roll that you put together with Sienna. That's and right. And it was it's 
the, the deck is designed with a book for beginners, right? So if you're a raw beginner, it'll, I think, really help you. Um, but, of course, anyone can use it. Yeah, I think the book is, the, the book alone is worth, I mean, it's amazing. I And moderate, uh, any level Tarot reader will benefit. That's because it's your you. your viewpoint. You know, it's it's a wonderful uh, it's a wonderful book. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. And it's still available on Amazon, right? Yeah, and other places. But always, like buying anything, check if it looks too cheap. It'll be a pirate version, and you oh want the goodness. good quality cards. You want the good colors. Yes. You know, Yes, it's a beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I I got that there will be an investigation. And I think it's going to go way back because I've got the the power wand and yeah. the knight of pentacles. Uh, and I think they've been really foolish. And uh, my outcome card is the tower. So I think they're going to get, I, I think. They're going to yeah. get haul, hauled in by their ear. I don't, I yeah. like they've had a phone conversation already and said, can you believe this is happening? Oh my God. Yeah. So I think, I yeah. think they're, yeah. Okay. So then that is a perfect segue to why some prosecutors and talking heads and law uh, lawyers and are all saying, why is this just now coming out? Why is this mm -hmm. Russia affiliation uh, just now coming to the light? They've questioned this guy before. So mm -hmm. is Chris Ray, the director of the FBI, is he going to be brought in for more questioning? Because what, what the heck is that about? Why do yeah. you know what? So what is Christopher Ray's role in this? Or Yeah. Yeah. Did, he, did he hide something? Was he? Is what, he dragging yeah. the chain? You know. Yeah. Why? Why yeah. now? Why not before? Mm -hmm. And I don't think some of the talking head lawyers are. You know, I don't think they wanted to bring him up, but it's like that. There is this big question here. Why? Yeah. 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 Let's have a look. Why has it taken so long? Russian connection. Mm. You know, mm, I think Christopher Ray is a real snake in the grass. So for me, here's what I've got, Laurie. I think they turned their backs on this and a lot of the Russian stuff in the sense of not prioritising it. So um, I'll have a digression. <laughs> the problem America's facing now is the key positions are filled by men who are simply not strong enough for the times. So that's Merrick Garland, DOJ, that's Christopher Ray, FBI. You know, they're not up to it, you know. So they were trying to walk away from it. But someone came forward with a message with this page of ones. I'm thinking that might be Lev Parnas, oh. who seems to have known everything about the Russian connection. And he's done his time. I think he's now out. But he, I think, entertainment purposes only, is an ongoing cooperating witness. And I think he knows everything. That's my vibe on something was brought to their attention that they couldn't ignore in the form of the false knight. But now things are moving really quickly with the chariot and... This has global implications because, again, not only Trump but the whole GOP's mad affiliation with Russia now has not been questioned still properly, you know, at its root and its source. And the world 
i.e. me speaking for the world, just joking. <laughs> Why? So I think momentum now. What did you get, Hum? I think uh, he was trying to keep things balanced and level, but he has some regrets over not bringing it forward. Uh, and I get this. He knew. He. This is my Celtic Cross uh, challenge card. Mm. He knew. He already received yes. some information. Yeah. And then it. And then a bigger because this is the page. And then the night came. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. With the information. Growing, and not shrinking. really gave it to him. And then there was no choice. And then mm. Lady Justice is. Yeah. So I get the exact same thing. He mm. couldn't get out of it. Uh, he didn't want to do it. No, he didn't. Mm -mm. Mm. I, the, he, he didn't pay attention. He very clearly did not pay attention when it was first brought to his attention. Yes. So I, you know, I don't know if he's going to, maybe he's going to get in trouble. Yeah. Or he's going to be pulled in by his ear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't know. understand why he was left in that position. I really don't understand. Yeah. Uh, because President Biden is nice. And yeah. just, and Which just is an affliction in the modern political landscape. It is. It definitely yeah. is. Okay. Speaking of afflictions, uh, Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk. He is the founder and director of USA Turning Point, which tries to educate younger people, targets younger people to help them become uh, well versed in Republican ways and conservative ways. And baby ways. fascists. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and baby fascists, and then to get them to donate money mm -hmm. to uh, to his show and to organizations that prop him up. Um, he also he has a big right wing talk show. Uh, let's see, and he's a conservative activist. I forget the name of his. It's like his own sh his own show, Charlie Kirk, mm -hmm. but he is he head up the um, movement to get Lara Trump in to, re <laughs> to replace Ronna McDaniel. Oh, yes. And so now that this is, that she's out the door, mm. she has, she wants revenge. And she's- You gotta gonna, love that. I, when I they know. turn on their own. Yes, there's, there's infighting. They're, and she's gone down to Mar-a-Lago to kiss the ring and to tell Donald that Charlie Kirk is taking all the money and all the donations and it's all going to his show and his foundations and, and to the tune of $15 million and that the RNC didn't get. Interesting. Yeah, so, all these sources of money are drying up. You know, they could normally rely on the NRA, but now Wayne LaPierre ran off with that money. And the big donors are not impressed, you know, with the Yeti stumbling around talking crazy. So they don't have the usual money. No. And so he probably doesn't have the money to pay, his, to put up his um, appeal fee and the money mm -hmm. that's needed to go into escrow. That's a whole nother deal. Yeah. So let's just look at Charlie Kirk's future because Ronna McDaniel has, she's got friends mm. in the RNC. Mm -hmm. And she wants him out. She she wants to take him down. And she's mad. She's lost mm -hmm. her position. Position. Yeah. So let's see. What does she do to him? Does she get a, Does she knock him down? Let's see. Ronna McDaniel on the rampage. To Charlie Kirk. She wants revenge. Charlie Kirk. Kirk. It's K-I-R-K. -K. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, because she's been a real power behind the throne. She's... 
But now she's upset. Oh, first card. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's been the head of the RNC for a while. Yeah. Charlie Ooh. Kirk. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I can go if you like, Lauren. Yes, please do. And we would like to also say hi to Becca from House of Lenormand. Becca, come over to you. Okay. Well, like I said, it leads off with drama and chaos and someone's going down. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait. Other people, I think, are trying to get to a compromise between them, right? But he's become a burden because he, he's not just giving over every cent to the Trump campaign. He's become a problem for them. She's coming in in the form of the Grim Reaper. I would also say... Not only is she going to fight Kirk, I think she would have the little black book of contacts, right? Imagine you've been head of the GOP for years. You're a backroom person, so you're not out there day and night doing a tap dance, right? She would have the killer little black book. That's what's going to do them un undone, not money I think even though money is the front of house and they're going to be sunk without her. There's a degree of celebration here, which I think is Rona's celebration. I don't know that this tower is a complete collapse of Kirk's persona online. It's more the GOP has got another tower that it's having to deal with right he'll probably just go on doing what he's doing but this is rona's celebration never thought i'd be celebrating with rona but you know it's that thing your enemy's enemy becomes your friend you know <laughs> wow. so i think they're playing with the wrong person okay yep that wow she she is she is she's upset very upset and she knows some of this she knows some of the secrets <laughs> and he's only 30 and he oh, he's just, a baby. Yeah. he just went through his saturn return mm. you know uh but she's gonna stir the pot she's gonna send out yeah. the gossip she's watching she's she's got somebody watching where the money's going and karma's a a bee <laughs> you know She's going to throw in some some real problems, uh, mm -hmm. but he's just going to keep on spinning. It's going to take more than her to take him down. But he's, yeah. he's going to try to backpedal, and maybe he'll say, oh, I'll give the RNC some of this money, or we'll get some. He's yeah, that could be the compromise. Oh, there, okay. Yeah. So he's going to have to try to, you know, Trump, if you get in the way, between Trump and the Big Mac, and yeah, the, or Trump and his stack of money, <laughs> and you're the, not going to be bank. No, no, it'll get ugly. You're not going to do so great. So she's going to throw a sword at him. She is mm. going to throw a sword. Wow. Yeah. All yeah. right. Wow. We're just ripping through these. Yeah, Let's we're doing well. Have you, I like that question, Den Dennis Thomas, when the housing, oh. When the housing oh, no, market I oh, crashes, I, don't think it's gonna crash. the economy. I think there's going to be a, a little bubble, bu bubble burst, but I don't think it's going to crash. Hmm. Uh, okay. One moment, Lynette. Hi in Melbourne. We've got Hi, a few Lynette. Australian viewers on yes, here. Yes, yay. Okay. Uh, for the next um, weirdo, retired <laughs> Army Lieutenant General Michael Flynn has been leading a Christian nationalist movement, organizing and re 
recruiting people for spiritual war. And his roadshow is called Reawaken mm -hmm. Roadshow Recruits Army of God. So, I, I mean, know. he's going all over to all of these churches and he, people are attending this. And I there's know. other yeah. there's pastors that are actually up that are uh, Christian that are absolutely really fed up and uh, are in horror of what he's doing. But let's just see where he goes with this. Yeah. Or how would you like to phrase that question? Now, again, the structures are not strong enough to deal with these rogues. How come the army hasn't called him back to active duty and court-martialed him? If nothing else, he could still go around and say all this stuff, but he wouldn't be retiring on a, a pension. and all. It's disgusting. Yeah, maybe because he got pardoned or something. I, I don't know. I, I don't understand why he hasn't been hauled back in. And they like, could still do it now. Yeah, I because none of the January 6th stuff has come up. Mm. Okay. It's been truly General. investigated. So gen retired General Michael Flynn. And you, the taxpayers are paying for this as he swans around. Mm. Oh, I'm not mad about this. Hmm. Okie dokie. Well, Put it this way, I think it's going to take another year or so to pan out, even four years. I've got a four coming up. Anyway, Michael Flynn. Michael Flynn's got a problem with money. I don't know what this is about. I think it's, it's not ideological with him. There's a secret about Michael Flynn and money. Is he a behind closed doors gambler or something. There's something very weird or it could have been, I think now I'm thinking about it, is a bribe. He took a bribe maybe from Russia or something in the early days rather than just give me more money. I think that's what the problem is. And as we know, this can be fool's gold. He's presenting well in these contexts. People love... Um, you know, hearing from him because he's trading on the gravitas of being a retired four-star general, right? So even though they're spitting on other active service members, he's trading on this very successfully. He's also building alliances between these people, right? But then the last two cards, give me, this is the four I was talking about. Hope it's four months, not four years. But at some point, the loss is coming for Michael Flynn. But it's, it's not a shocking tower or anything. It's just he'll lose power at some point. I'm lying down here, but with a four in it. So where are we? What month? We're going into March, April, May, mm -hmm. June. Maybe by midsummer, there'll be something that exposes Flynn. Let's mark that on our calendar. <laughs> uh, I also get that he he isn't managing his 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 money well. Isn't that interesting? It is. I don't think of him as one of the worst of the worst for just grifting for money, but money, money. But uh, he also. Maybe having some psychological stuff going on okay. with him too. Uh, because he left, I feel like he walked away from some of his beliefs uh, in search for MAGA something. Who knows? Yes. But he's, he is focusing on uh, fear. He's preaching fear. Yes. And, and that's, he's getting people to come along with them. Uh, and, uh, and, and some people that just are not educated 
uh, he's just really focusing on the, their fears. Look at that. Yeah. And getting them to, you know, you, you've got to wake up. You've got to come along with me. He's going to continue. Yeah. Maybe for the four months, he's go, he's going to continue. Or it could be four years. <laughs> oh, God, I hope not. But he's going to continue with these yeah. parades. And he's you're going to see him marching. I wonder if he gets people to even march or do a parade or something. Mm. This is ridiculous. I don't know. I'm that not liking it either. Yeah. Maybe he'll gamble away all the money and can't pay <laughs> for the parade or something. Something good. Yeah. Well, he's got to mess up somewhere, right? Yeah. Maybe his brother will get in trouble, you know, and he'll all the January 6th thing will come down on his head. Uh. All right. Uh what would you like to ask now? Oh, oh, uh, can we look at Jabby asked you the in the US today, AT&T had a massive uh, service failure and and hundreds of thousands like people couldn't call 911 or use their phones at all. And, and they're saying you try a, using a landline and they're like taking all the landlines away. So uh, was this explainable computer failure or was it a cyber attack? Can we look to see if there was any? Yeah, let's have a quick look at at and Okay. Was there a malefic uh, interference yeah. hacking or? Yeah, what was that about? Oh, hi, Alice. You're a first timer here. Welcome. Hello, mm -hmm. Alice. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Lena's channel is called Tarot Down Under. That's me. Dr. Lena Rodriguez. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I actually don't think it was a cyber attack. Because so, I've got the Page of Pentacles here, which is suggesting to me, like many big organizations, they're taking shortcuts so a page is a young person, the pentacle representing money here. It's like they're taking economic cuts, expecting their technicians to do too much with too little. And I think that was the problem. The Hierophant turns up, which is the overall system itself. And they're quickly looking for a strategy. You have this one. Um, to get back on an even keel, even though the service is probably back up and running and everything, the problem has been identified as something that needs attention. But I think they're going to, with this temperance card, they're going to find a way through it and probably have to spend more money on people and technology. Uh-huh. <clears throat> All right. Yep, they didn't. I... They didn't cover, they didn't see YA. <laughs> they didn't do the right thing. Uh, and greed, greed got in the way. You know, maybe yeah. the, the CFO yeah. took another big raise. There's one man in particular that's going to take the fall for this because the King of Wands is on his side. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I think. They're going to blame the techies. And uh, wow. Yeah, there's big problems. Um, someone may have like wanted to get him in trouble. I don't know. There could be a little something there, but they, they didn't do, they didn't follow the guidelines or do the right thing. And they're going to have to make it right. Yeah. They're gonna, yeah. Yeah. Um, boy. While you're looking at the next question, we've got more Queenslanders here. Hi, Irina. Yay. Hi, Mickey. I'm a Queensland girl. Back in my day, Queensland welcome, welcome. used to be called the Texas of the North. <laughs> so, oh. Because it was a huge sprawling state under nutcase rule. That's why I get the Trump story. I grew up with the Australian equivalent of Trump in Queensland. And we were a laughing stock of the rest of Australia. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. He was That's never good. That must... Yeah, it could be Florida or Texas, right? Yeah, it's like that. But it's a different era now, so 
Big love to Queensland. Yeah. Big love to Queensland. <laughs> um, okay, I have another question here. Um, is Trump going to get the money? Is he going to come up with the money? Because I don't know if you heard this or not. Judge Angeron just denied his stay request. So he's not getting an extra month. No. And it's a huge amount of money. See, as we all know, Trump's modus operandi has always been sue everyone else, de delay and defer, appeal, appeal. Now he has to come up with huge money to appeal. It'll be a different story. But has he got the money is what we're asking, yeah? Will he get it? I did, I did a little reading the other day, and I don't know what you've gotten recently that, you know, Putin might throw him a little bit. Elon Musk might be willing to. But also with Musk, we've got to remember, his wealth is all on paper too, you know, like let's see. I haven't looked at this for a while. Well, Trump successfully come up with the money to make his appeal or put it in escrow so mm. it'll stop accruing interest. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. And the interest on whatever it is, 355 million, is enormous. It is. But it's really only half half a billion you know, he should ask. And he's allegedly the rich guy, and yeah. Mar-a-Lago. What did he say was worth three point five billion? Exactly. Or he I could mean, just, just, you know, silly figures. But, exactly. Know, let's let's he see. could ask his son-in-law for a little loan. Who got <laughs> the two B from Crown <laughs> Prince? I'd like to say something about that Jared Kushner too, getting the two point five billion oh. from Saudi, but. <clears throat> the reason he lobbied for it, and for him, lucky he got it, was because his debts are more than that. This isn't money for jam for Jared. He bought that stupid 666 mm -hmm. property and stuff. His debts were $2.5 So what did they get in return? Well, very good question in itself, you know, yeah. They get access to the president and the future president and, you know, in their eyes. <coughs> oh, oh. Funny she These are interesting cards. I can't wait to see what you got. <laughs> okay. So this is the bluster in a way you know this is what he always leads with i'm a killer businessman i'm the bet i'm so rich you're lucky to be in this room with me i have the power but this is knocking him around because <clears throat> i think the biggest hardest thing he doesn't worry about owing hundreds of millions of dollars that that's typical for him but now his money is being managed, right? Um, and Engeron's been very outspoken about this and did organise this. He doesn't actually have a lot of say anymore in his own money and where it will come from and how it will be spent. He could call on the kiddies. Mm -hmm for this and then weirdly this is super weird now this could be the wedding card he could be you know digging up the casket at bedminster because <laughs> oh oh. melania is not going to give him a shiny red scent you know so it's not her no what's in the casket all jokes aside <clears throat> alternatively the four of wands also represents real estate so he's going to have to make a plan about this money and whether he likes it or not. He'll obviously start with the things that are furthest away, the odd golf course and this and that. But here's the problem for him. He's inflated their values. These golf courses are only worth a lazy couple of mil. You know, they're not worth 
tens and hundreds of millions, you know, it's fascinating. What did you get? Well, so do you think he will not be able to come up with it? Yeah. So I don't think he's going to manage it. I think he'll manage part of it, but not think, the whole of it. I think he's going to be short. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to hear news that someone's turned him down. The Queen of Wands, yes. the hoe of the tarot is on the side. He may <laughs> he may have to dig up the, the casket. Um, but he has, I think there's even more things coming up. And plus, he still owes E. Jean Carroll $87 million and Oh, yeah. Uh, I th I just think he comes up short. Yeah. He's going to have to ask Pooty and Musk, and he's going to have to go ask. He's going to have yes. to with his yes. tail, tail between not, his legs. Yeah, he hasn't got it. I wonder if they'll give it to him. Mm. Will they give mm. it to him in time? Will we ask that? Let's see if he gets it in time. Okay, let's see if he gets it in time. Will someone finally give in and give it to him? Will he make it in time? Let's have a look. Because Rupert Murdoch doesn't like him, so he's not going to do it. He's, no. he's had the big payout from Dominion. And Rupert's <laughs> son is running that too, Fox. So have you guys watched the series Succession? No, we I get haven't. Them, so it's worth a look. It's very I know nice. a lot of people have watched it. I have not. Yeah. I put it off for maybe two years or something. I went, oh, and I'm totally binging it now. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, will he get it and from where? Will he get it? Um, what's this about? This is interesting. Look, I'm going to say he's working very hard at this. <laughs> but even that drives him crazy because he hates reimbursing people or spending money or something. So it's not just the actual money. He hates the principle of it, but he's forced to work really hard trying to get it. He's pulling every emotional card in the book, including with the family, not just will they learn and lend him money. He's now gone back to Kushner, I would say, to lobby um, the Middle Eastern emirs, right? He's pulled all this, the stops out here. There's the Ace of Pentacles. He will have some sort of windfall, much as I hate it, from say he could be calling in an old debt from back in the day or something, scrabble, scrabble. But the loser is ultimately America itself here. I think it's other people worrying on his behalf what will happen. And what I don't know, if you or anyone else knows, if he doesn't pay it all, what happens? They can seize some of his assets, his buildings. Right? Yeah. So I think he's. this is him really worried about this. Um but America is the poorer for it because if he manages to secure this big money, this is the concern for me, someone else overseas has even more influence on America than they did before. He's he's selling access. Yeah. You know. Yep, he's dangerous, very dangerous. Uh, yeah. I, I think he gets some money, like you saw that Ace of Pentacles. I, yeah. I think he gets a windfall or the strength card can pull him through somewhat, but yeah. it sets him back so far yeah. that he is not okay. And I still yeah. have the same, I have the same yes. outcome card. So yes. He, yes. Easy. He's going to, maybe he'll take off. 
mm. you know, but, or this isn't good for him. It, he, I think he's going to, maybe he'll get real close and then say, now can I have a little more time since I've come up with this? I don't know, but he's still, this is still a not, this is not a, I'm so happy I got it all and took no, care of everything. No. no. And Which symbolically, me. Trump Tower and Mar-a-Lago, he will do anything to save those properties. And the problem is he then owes that money. And if he couldn't pay it in the first place, how the hell is he going to pay it down the track, right? You know, like... Mm. He probably has a couple of documents still hidden in that room. I think off so, his too. Bedroom. I think so yeah. too. Probably have, if he was smart enough to put keep an ace up his sleeve, he might have mm. a last, you know, one, yeah. one more, but you know, one more thing. Yeah. Okay. Shall we look to see that one top is a uh, Israel officer has said there is potential movement towards talks of getting the hostages back. Uh, and then maybe that would, they won't go into Rafa then and save mm -hmm. people's lives. Can we see if they'll broker a deal and a possible uh, ceasefire? Or they get the, ho let's just ask about the hostages. Will mm -hmm. we get the hostages back? Mm -hmm. The hostages. I don't think they'd say there's a potential potential movement if there wasn't potential movement. Mm. Any luck getting the hostages back? I think what's happening behind the scenes, look, the whole world obviously is watching this really closely, right? But everyone wants their bit of the deal, you know, in any negotiation. Mm -hmm. The King of Pentacles is here, um, who I think represents whoever's the chief negotiator, and I don't think for one minute it's Anthony Blinken. The chief negotiator in this is because the only hostages that have been negotiated out were by Qatar. And so I think this is... Egypt, Qatar combination here. Yeah. Okay. They're going to try and find a new approach to film here. But I think there's huge sums of money being asked. I don't think that's talked about publicly. I'm only reading the cards. But I, I think Israel might be reluctant to spend the sums of money that are being talked about behind the scenes. Don't know. It's also holding on. So I'm not seeing this being the end game, the, the breakthrough deal. There's some new ground, but with this as an outcome, mm, there's a way to go. What 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 card was that, Lena? The Four of Pentacles, holding on oh, to what yeah. you've got. You know, like uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, I got that too. Oh, really? How yeah. weird is that? You know. Uh. Oh, oh, please excuse me for one second. Tris, Tris, won uh, the 15 minute free reading drawing. And so, Tristra, so you can just text my uh, cell number or email me at the way of positive change at Gmail, please. Okay. I, I think there is, I got the Ace of Pentacles. Sorry for the interruption. Mm -hmm. um, I got the Ace of Pentacles as, as well. So, and I do think there is a money thing that just isn't, they can't agree. They just can't. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, they're trying, they're trying, they can't quite get there. And then maybe there's a little double crossing or someone doesn't get what they want, or you think you're going to get more prisoners out, or you could, you know, you could be getting greedy. Um, I just, I just, there's just someone's playing the shell game. Someone's being greedy. I just don't think this, not quite yet. Mm. 
Maybe we're more, we could perhaps I think getting closer. Closer. Maybe. Yeah. I'd like to jump in here now. This is a great comment from Sherry French. Thanks, Sherry. I agree with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Trump doesn't own these properties outright. And Sherry says, I'd bet the farm he's got mortgages on everything he owns. And I think that is so <clears throat> the case. Not only does he not want to symbolically lose them, he doesn't want it to be exposed. And I think I said something similar on a recent video he only owns a share of Trump Tower, and there's no reason to think Mar-a-Lago would be different. Right, and I think he could. So that's he, going yeah. to be exposed. And maybe that's what sends him off into the Eight of Cups. Yeah. You know, I don't want to play anymore. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he only gets the rents from the commercial real estate, like the little shops or the little whatever's in Trump Tower. He mm. gets a little bit of money from that. Uh, Cohen said that, and uh, Donnie Deutsch said that as well. Yeah. Yeah, so. he owns the retail in Trump Tower, but, yeah, I think everything would be mortgaged to the hilt. I think that's true. Wow. Mm. Okay, so I, he's just not going to have the best of luck with this. He's in a yes. bit more trouble than what he thought. Now, I'm, I've got a couple of funny questions. Okay. All right. One of them is Florida Governor Ron DeSatan mm -hmm. made an appearance in South Carolina the other day while uh, Nikki Haley is speaking there and everything. And he says he's there to rally uh, votes and make speeches for getting uh, congressional term limits set in place. Mm-hmm. And I think he's still smelling around. He can re-enter the race. If mm. Trump can't come up with that money or people start dropping Trump like a hot potato, he can get back in. Mm. I didn't know that, but I looked it up. He can get back in. Can we yeah. look to see if he'll try? <laughs> Will he try yeah. to get back in? Because Elon Musk was backing to Satan mm. and even had him announce his candidacy on Twitter, and it busted Twitter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see. It failed. The broadcast failed. Will yeah. Governor Ron DeSantis, I can't even stand calling him governor, will he try to get back into the presidential race? DeSatan. Mm. Trying to get back in. <sighs> Look. <clears throat> I think he's thinking about it and I suspect it's not so much him as his wife who's pushing this, but, oh. yes, he's, he's thinking that he's still got a chance, he's still got backers, yeah. <laughs> he might play the game for a while going forward, mm -hmm. whether that's coming back in or, or what, coming out all guns blazing. But look what he's got here. He's got judgment and the hangman. So, look, not yet. He might be putting things on hold to 2028, but I don't think he's going forward now because it, it was a burden for him to run and he's actually a burden for the GOP. He has not got the charisma to pull this off and I think it's not his decision <coughs> I think this is GOP stuff who will say yes you can run again or no you can't I don't think it's his decision it's someone else's yeah yeah he does have a, a wish he feels like he got betrayed by someone as well uh, he feels like he got bullied and betrayed it is up to someone else, but I got that not. I got that he's wishing upon a star too. Yeah. Uh, but he just doesn't have the. Uh, it's just up and down. He doesn't have all the funds. It's not like it's the Ten of Pentacles, or he just. Yeah. Sort of so he might try a little bit, or. And look, why not? Because it's always good when they take apart the Yeti, so they all have a role, you know, in that. Um, in the comments, James Cox says. 
Doesn't De Satan have his own legal issues coming up in May or June? Something to do with the hurricane money that was sent to him and his wife to manage. Interesting. Can someone confirm that? I think that's in my back brain somewhere. I mean, I've always thought that he would get in trouble. That's the hurricane that hit my county. Ah, there we go. And then there was another one after that. It wasn't as big as was here. But uh, would you like to see if he you want to do a quick toss to see if he's going to get in legal trouble this, this summer? Let's have a look, yeah. Mismanagement. I mean, he wore his white boots, you know. <laughs> that was right here in the next little artist town, Matt Lachey, next, okay. where he won the, wore those boots. Will he, will the Satan will DeSantis find DeSantis DeSantis? Have legal issues? Oops. In regards to hurricane money. In regard to hurricane money. Okay. Wushka. Hmm. Oh, I can go if you want, Laurie. Yes, please. What's at the heart of it? The money. Okay. Now, he did have a strong relationship with the Yeti until it wasn't, right? So this card is the obstacle card for him because now he has come out and criticised the Yeti, you know, on the campaign trail and stuff. That's problematic. But in terms of the legal issues, it's not quite clear yet. But look at the Wheel of Fortune coming around. I would say this is soon. In other words, yeah, um, May or June would make sense to me. And they're going to look at all his money that he's handled publicly, you know, not just this issue. The king is bigger in that sense. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see more possible state corruption charges or something coming through. Okay. Well, I got a, I got a, a yes card. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I got a yes card. I do mm -hmm. think they're going to investigate, you know, the guidelines, maybe even the insurance money and, or, you know, what mm -hmm. is allotted, what you can spend. And then he got the same outcome card as Trump. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, so I think no. he's in trouble. I think he's also going to be in trouble for the COVID thing. Right. But, you know, will that be, I mean, for God's sake. Yeah, it could be. How long is that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, probably one of the most important questions of the night is going to be, uh, everyone's trying to get Beyonce and Taylor Swift together. <laughs> To cut a song together or to do, they both just recently dropped an album, but will they come together to cut a song together? Beyonce and Taylor Swift will work. They've supported each other in their big tours. The, mm. on, opening, on opening day of each tour, the other person mm. came to the stage for that person. So Beyonce went to Taylor Swift and Taylor Swift went to Beyonce. Um, Will they cut a single together? Oh, I cut a single. Well, I think there's a really good chance. Got the chariot rocking right along here. <laughs> Coming together. Nice. And it, it's going to bust the records, I think, money. <laughs> Wow, that's really great. What card is that? The King of... This is the King of Pentacles. Pentacles. So this okay. is whoever would be brokering that deal to make it happen. This is the business side of this arrangement. Should it happen, it's going to make megabucks. Not that that's why they do it. I'm not suggesting that. They've already got megabucks. They've got megabucks. 
yeah. and they both care. So this is actually more important. So I was a bit surprised, although I could revisit this. Pentacles also about values. It could be their shared values expand. Wouldn't that be good? It could yeah. be. Awesome. And it, it, it could be on all things Pentacles, maybe even a, a, a global world. Totally. Uh, climate control or, yeah. Or maybe they'll donate the proceeds to you know, the Dems or some worthy thing or something. Yeah, that would be really great. Yeah, I think the world and the magician cards means I think really? they, they're going to yeah. talk about it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I just got goosebumps. Woo -hoo. Yeah. And the magician manifests. So, yeah. All right. So um, before we pull a card or get a little word about uh, maybe, you know, draw a few cards for the overall energy of the full moon that's coming this weekend can you mm -hmm. tell people how to get a hold of you so they can uh schedule a reading with you so if you look on any of my videos it'll have my email underneath but i don't think you see it on phones you may have to look at it on a laptop okay i'll post it on the i'll post and if you could right post now. it laurie thank you and I do one hour readings and one and a half hour past life readings. So if you're interested in those, get in touch. And I just love meeting you guys. It's we've got the best audiences, haven't we? We do. Uh, we do. Everyone wants to help and yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the energy is for this full moon this weekend. Uh Full moon weekend. Is there anything we need to be aware of? Full moon. What to look at for? Let's see. Oh, okay. Look, I think this is interesting. Yeah, I've pulled three cards. Okay. Yeah. And starts with the high priestess. You've got to love the high priestess. And the thing with her too, she can also represent your subconscious and the deeper things in life. This is a time, this full moon, to really reflect on those things deeply doesn't mean you can't go out and party as well but reflect on them deeply and this is my sword card for Greta Thunberg right um this page of swords this is to me the social justice card so how can you reflect on how to express your social justice concerns, right? Very wow. nice. Mm. Everyone can do their bit. Oh, yes. bless. Yeah, that's very nice. And you can even journal or write them down. Yeah. It's going to be a good energy time to do your gratitude list or write down how you feel about that or what your commitment is in the future for how you're going or currently present, how you'll participate. Mm -hmm. And then uh, maybe get your girlfriends to do it too or form a group. Or yeah, great group idea. And, and then have some fun. Have some fun. Always got to have some fun at full moon. Yeah. yeah. All right. Wow. And one more announcement. Sorry. Oh, Sorry, just before. tomorrow I'm doing a collaboration on Johnny's channel, Johnny's Tarot's Apprentice, and Dave from Moonride. Nice. So, yeah. but so you'll be with uh, Dave Johnson and Johnny. Uh, yes. On Johnny's channel. On Johnny's channel tomorrow, three p.m. PST. Pacific, three p.m. Pacific, so six p.m. Eastern. There you go. There you go. And well, I'll Dara, post Lena's information. Thank you. You're welcome. And thanks for coming on today. We have almost a thousand people here. So that's a, a that's sensational, guys. It is. Thanks. It's great. Yeah. I'm I'm very grateful. Thank you so much, Lena. 
And uh, oh, have you had another invitation from Mary Trump? Are you going back? You know? No, I think she's got a lot on. I think because she's got her own legal stuff pending and oh, with right. all this. So I haven't heard lately. We'll I all get have to. We'll all have to put another bug in her ear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have a great weekend, you guys. I'm. I'm not. I don't think I'm going to be on tomorrow uh, because I, I might take the day off. How about that? What a devil you are. <laughs> all right. Much love to you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, moderators, Patricia. Yeah. Really. Thank you for doing and that. And thanks for the um, super chats. Thank you so much. Awesome. See you guys.